Hello everyone and welcome to another your keys bits and bobs home tech. Today we have another unboxing and it's this. It's a microphone kit. The reason I chose this one is because I was having a look on Amazon, like you do, and I was looking to do another review on a microphone kit and I came across this baby here. And it's sold by a company called Studio Track and it costs just under £47, which I thought was very good value for money. It's got a nice little spec on it. It comes with everything you need to get started. And not only that, it had no reviews on it. So I thought, oh, I could be a first year. I could actually do a review on it and even upload that to Amazon as well. So with that, shall we get on with the unboxing? So like I said, it cost me just under £47. And I'll stick a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Try not to cut your fingers off, your key. Always do it away from you. Let's see what you get for your money. So Amazon have done a nice job on the packaging, which is always good, isn't it? So they haven't over done overkill, as you can see. Move that out of the way. Meow. So let's have a look at the box. So it's nicely presented. It shows you what you're getting in there, which is what you want. Feels solid. Feels like a solid box. So I'll quickly show you around the box. Could I know how much you like seeing around the box or not? Like so. And then it's got some information on the sides. And it's got quite a weight to it as well, which is going to be good, because if it's going to sit on your desk, if you don't want it too light, because it'll just flop about, and, you know, it'll fall over or whatever. So let, what's it say about it? So it's for internet live, which we know anyway, for podcasting, condenser types, is, and the model is the ST810. So on the side it says USB 2.0, which is all you need for uh, uh, producing good quality sound anyway. Uh, desktop stand included, easy to set up, uh, diameter 16mm large mic capsule, that's how big the mic itself, it's at 16mm, polar pattern cordial, which is nice, so it spreads out a little bit, but not too much, full metal case, which is very good, and compatible with Windows and Mac OS, which is brilliant. So what's the specs? So it tells you the voltage, which, which is 5 volts. A uh, body weight 220, so out of the box it weighs 220 grams, which is quite heavy, but you know, you need a bit of weight for it to stay on the desk and not float about, sort of thing. It frequency response is 30 hertz. Actually, I'll do this bit again. So, specifications microphone core, uh, we've done 16 millimeter, polar pattern cordial, frequency response is 30 hertz to 16 hertz, which is very nice. And sampling rate is 96 kilohertz, 24 bit, which is perfect. Perfect. Maximum SPL is 120 decibel. Well, wow. oh, very well. Uh, SM ratio is 70 de decibel, and voltage 5 volt. Body weight is 220 grams, which is quite heavy, but you need that bit of weight. The color is all black. Material is metal, and sensitivity is 38 decibel to plus or minus three decibels so it's within that range so it's very nice so i like the packaging i think it's quite you can actually feel that which is nice and that side very nice so packaging is very nice well well presented and i'm just trying to figure out which way is the best way to undo it ah oh, there you go so there's a little tag there lift that up there you go Oh, it's nicely presented as well. So, good bit of solid uh, foam protection. Uh, nicely presented inside. Comes with a little leaflet, so it's a user manual, as it says. Uh, how to set in on computer. That's what it says. Uh, I just read it as it was. <laughs> so, just quickly show you around. See that? Looks very nice. So it just basically tells you how to uh, connect it, connect to, uh, to computer, basically you plug it into a USB, uh, installation quick guide, so it shows you how to set it all up, how to put it into the clamp. So we'll have a quick little read, although it's not a lot to read, it's mainly pictures, and it looks really easy. So I've done reading, like I said, it was very quick to read. Right, let's get out the, the bits and bobs, because we want to see what you get 
going to get for your money. So this bit is your shock mount. Now I don't actually have one of these on, on my um, big mic. And the reason for that is because it's bloody expensive. Whereas this, and I'm probably making too much noise there, huh? with this, you're getting a whole kit for £47. So you get one of these. So yeah, it looks very nice. Easy to use, adjustable. So that looks really good. Yeah, and that looks like it works really well. Obviously, the uh, we need to test it. This is a uh, just a little filter, reducing wind noise, stuff like that. USB, oh, USB looks nice and long. I reckon that's probably at least two meters. Let's have a quick look. Hopefully, it's two meters. Looking at it, it might be even more than that, which is good because look at the distance. My computer is over there, but the USB is right at the back, the other side. My monitors are over here, so my microphone will be over here. So, yeah, I say at least two meters of cable now, and I'll uh, measure up later to see how long it is for you. We'll find that. So, what else you got in the box? All right, this is part of the stand. Oh, it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, looks very flash. Nice bit of gold. So that's the stand. And what else you got? The microphone itself. One of the little uh, smelly things. Not smelly. Yeah. Keeps it, yeah, fresh. So this is the main thing. So I'm assuming the mic's there, where the wording is. Yeah. So yeah, it looks nice. You've got USB connection on the bottom, which you would uh, assume anyway. Uh, it comes with the little square ones. So USB 2 on that one end, and uh, the standard one for the mic. So I've used these before, and it, uh, I don't know how to fit it. <laughs> just joking, just joking. How's it going? How's it going? That's all right. And it's tight fit, it's a tight fit. We like a tight fit. So that's good because it ain't gonna just pop out, is it? So nice fit on there actually. So yeah. So testing, testing, one, two, three, four. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put it all together and uh then we'll plug it into the PC. Oh just notice there's one thing missing, look. And it's the actual plate that sits on the bottom. Well, I thought that box feels really heavy. Why? Why does that box feel heavy? Because it's underneath. And the pop filter. See? We've got back the pop filter. So there's a the pop filter. And it feels like it's a double skin, which is good. And standard bracket. And here's your heavy plate. And that is heavy. I'll move that out of the way. So yeah, that's a solid bit of metal, that thing. <laughs> that is heavy. On its own. That is very heavy. So with that, let's get on, let's get on and uh, fix it all together. Right, so it's all assembled, as you can see. Make sure the wording on the mic, this here, where it says pseudo attack, is facing towards you. And uh, try and keep it straight. And that should be about it. So you have the pop filter in front of you, like so. Yeah, and uh, that is it. You shouldn't need to play about with it anymore. Obviously, you're going to play about with it when it's new and you're just setting it all up, finding the best place to put it on your desk and all that. But we're only just doing a test, so that looks fine to me. It's very. This is the uh, pop filter. is very flexible, so you can turn it. You can bend it like Beckham. You know, you can do all sorts of things with it. The arm is easy enough to adjust. Doesn't go very high. That's about its maximum length, as far as I know. Last famous words, he says. Yeah, so that's it. That's as far as it goes. So that's it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to do some sound recording. And see what it sounds like. Oh, and I forgot about this. So you can have, you can leave this off or put it on. It's entirely up to you. If you're in a slightly windy environment, say like you've got a fan on. And uh, your mic's picking up the fan. You can stick this on and uh, to reduce the noise. 
So let's have a look. Let's see what it looks like. I personally prefer it with it off because I think it looks better. But if I had my fan on and it was picking up noise, then I'll put it on. I mean, you're not going to see it anyway because it's behind the filter, behind the pop filter anyway. So let's get on with it, shall we? So now we're going to have a listen to the quality and see how good it sounds. Hopefully it's perfect, it should be. But what I'm also going to do is show you, in case you don't know, and there are people out there who don't know, how to adjust your settings on your microphone. Uh, so with that, shall we get on with it? So first of all, you go down, this is on Windows 10, not a Mac. Go down to your bottom right hand corner and there's a picture of a speaker down there. Right click on it and then open sound settings. And then here you will have sound control panel. Click on that, and this is uh, the box you should get up. I'll minimise that out of the way, you know, so it doesn't uh, get in the way. And it's set on Yeti stereo microphone on playback, and the reason for that is because my speakers are plugged into my Yeti microphone. It has a plug-in bit. It's just the way it is. Uh, so we want recording. And as you can see, by plugging in the uh, microphone, it's already detected and set as default recorder. So, And you can see it's working because the little bar's going up on the right hand side. And also if I tap it, it will shoot right up. So you don't want to tap it. So what you need to do now is if you right click on it, go to properties. And in here, you can have a listen to it. So if you want to, if you've got a pair of speakers or headphones and that, and you want to hear yourself talking, get an idea what it sounds like you can just go to listen click on listen to this device tick that box apply and then it should come out the speakers if you find you're getting distortion then you need to turn the volume down on your speakers uh, to a quieter sound until it stops making that noise or if you can't hear it, obviously turn it up and then here's the adjustment so you go into levels and you this bar here you can adjust minimize it or maximize it depends what you want to do with it i'm going to leave it alone for now it's set on 16 it was already set on 16 the reason for that is I, in the past i've done another microphone kit and that's what i set it on for that one and that was fine uh, and if you want to see what your quality of sound you're producing if you go into advanced uh, you got here it shows you so we're doing two channel which is stereo yeah 24 bit 96000 hertz studio quality and you can reduce that as well so if you come here and these all your settings uh, you're probably never going to really notice the difference if you reduce it but we're going to leave that alone for now I just wanted to show you that and that way we can uh, have a listen also I'm going to show you what uh, software I'm using to reduce uh, to produce this quality of sound and I'm using Streamlabs OBS and this is the baby here this is what I'm currently using as you can see and um, as long as it hits the yellows it should be fine so it's hitting the yellows occasionally we'll hit the reds which is fine as long as it doesn't stay in the reds because if it stays in the red the sound is going to be distorted and it's going to be rubbish uh, you don't want it to be too low obviously but try and hit the yellows uh, maybe occasionally the red. If you get closer to the mic, your voice will get deeper, but you're going to get closer to the reds as well, like so. So like I'm talking really close, so you can see it's hitting the reds just, which is fine, but my voice will be deeper as well. So we want to try and be as natural as possible and have good quality, which is what we're aiming to do. So my first impressions, from you know, without listening to it at the moment, I like the look of it. I like the fact that it's uh, all kitted out for you, you know if you want a desktop one to sit on the desktop you can put it behind the keyboard or in front of the keyboards up to you uh, what d does it pick up keyboard I would have thought it would do which it does not sure how, how noisy that is but again it's something you can play about with you need to get in there and do your fine tuning on your settings like I just showed you move that back out of the way because that could be annoying or oh, it could be annoying for you uh, yeah, so you need to play about with it, get your settings right, get get it set down to the minimum without losing your own voice, and uh, away you go. But you need to play about with it. So uh, with that, I'm going to have a listen to it myself, and then tell you what I think of it. Right, so I've had a listen to it, and I thought the quality of sound was excellent. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. Obviously, you need to fine-tune it to get it just right for your environment. 
whatever you're using, your background noise, try and reduce that by adjusting the mic sensitivity and it should be perfect. If you're looking for a desktop microphone and you want one at a cheap price but you also want a good quality one, I can highly recommend this. It definitely gets my thumbs up. I mean, it comes with everything. It comes with a stand, it comes with a pop filter, it comes with a shock mount, even a windshield as well. And then a nice long USB lead. So I thought, yeah, 47 quid, it is well worth the money. So it definitely gets my thumbs up with that. And uh, that's about it for this. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me the thumbs down. You know what to do. Oh, and please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.